all his life. Mm -hmm. But like I feel definitely. like, yeah. I definitely, but I feel like closer to the end, he was so close to God that there's, I'm, I have no doubt where he is. I Most know definitely. he's right next to God. I agree. 100%. He's right there, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. So how have you been dealing with, obviously, his passing? Like, what, what, what do you go through? Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure days are different for you. Sorry, please have some tissue. <laughs> Guys, come and get some tissue, please. I'm trying to not spoil my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just keep tissue on the side, okay? Because Tito said he's not gonna make me cry. Just, <laughs> you said though. Um, you said okay. I sorry. said don't make me cry. Oh, uh, <laughs> my bad. Okay. It's okay. <clears throat> don't do that. That should make you cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how have you been dealing? I know, obviously, it's been very difficult for you. Um, you're working. Yeah. Unless you try, keep on working to keep your mind off it. But, like, what happens when you go to sleep? Like, like what have you... This first month was very tough, especially for his family, because they had to initially pack up all his stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And after that, when I went back home, Lynn and my friends literally stayed with me for a month. Like, it was... It was a lot because I think I feel like they had me on like suicide watch, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but like when I started working again, the support was, yo, like I can't even explain how crazy it was. Like mm -hmm. I also sometimes felt so undeserving of the amount of support and the amount of people rallying behind me. Nah, you did deserve that. But they were also, they also lost them, you know, yeah. like. They also were going through the most. But I think how it was when I had to go back to work. It was, I don't know how to explain it. It's crazy. <laughs> the first day I was a complete mess. Yo, I think I was running on rockets with no shoes on at one point. <laughs> with no shoes on. But everyone just rallied behind me to support me. So it made it a lot easier. And then um Obviously, every, everyone can't go to all my gigs. So eventually, it kind of like phased out. And I, and I was with just my team. And yeah. they were also very like kitty gloves with me, like very yeah. careful and very like, you know, and I had to bump up my security also because I just was very scared because I just couldn't believe like something like this could happen in South Africa like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is so close to home. So you have to like bump up your own security and mm -hmm. even the security at home because I was too scared to sleep in my room. So I sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's just adjusting to being with somebody so much of your time to being completely alone and dealing with the loneliness of being alone, mm. you know? And I'm still adjusting with that. Um, but I knew the one thing I couldn't do was turn my back on God because God was all I had, mm -hmm. is all I have. Mm. And um, I'm just waiting for his plan for me because at the beginning I was very angry. So I'm like, you forgot mm. about me. Like when Keenan mm. went through what he went through, you put me in his life to help him. Mm. But you haven't put anyone in my life to help me. Mm. The loss of losing him. Mm -hmm. You know, like, why have you forgotten about me? Like, why do I have to do this alone? Why do I have to be this lonely and this sad and this heartbroken and have to put, pick myself up? And then I realized that God didn't. He, 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 he gave Keenan me, but he gave me a community of people. Yeah. Like, so many people. Yeah. Something and, about that. I have to give a yeah. big shout out to the Forbes family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm. Uncle Tony, um, Aunt Steph. Lynn. We have to give Chris. them Steph. We yeah. have to give them a big shout out because um, us as black people, you know, because you're not married to Kim, mm. you know, um, certain things wouldn't happen. Like yeah. Our culture. Yeah. You know, and I've seen them being very supportive treating you like you guys were actually married, the way mm. they've been treating you and the way they've been supporting you. Like, that is, like, so beautiful to see. So I just felt like, you know what I'm Thank saying? You. Like, we have to give them, like, the utmost respect, you yeah. know? And I love your relationship with Cairo. Mm. That's like you being a mother. Mm. Um, and then you 
Now, Mzansi, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time there's more tea on this channel. And may AKA Soul continue to rest in peace and may Nadia find comfort as well as the family during this difficult time.